Hello painters and welcome to our channel Pintado a Juego. I'm Silvia and in the last video you could see how to build a Panzer IV scale model from Tamiya. So today, before continuing with the tank, we are actually going to show you how to paint a Panzer Commander in winter uniform using products from ML by Mi Jimenez. If you want to see how we paint this Commander, follow me. You can see that we have the figure ready, we've used blue tech to stick it onto this small plastic container so that we can paint it more easily. Although this is not a sponsored video, we are going to be using sets by Ammo, specifically the following ones. Flesh Jones set, Winter Uniforms figure set and German Field Grey Uniform figure set. First, and as always, we are going to prime the mini, this time in grey. The goal is to have a solid layer that will seal the mini and cover completely the plastic underneath. We also want it to be thin enough so as not to lose any details. Grey in this case will provide the perfect base for the winter uniform. And here you can see what the mini looks like once primed. We're using the airbrush here to paint the base of the jacket with mid grey. We'll apply it slowly and carefully, trying not to cover the pants, although honestly it doesn't really matter all that much, as we'll paint them with a brush later. We'll continue with filled grey shadow, an argument can be made that this color would cover better over a darker base, however, we'll achieve the results we are looking for after a couple of thin layers. You will see that it is worth the extra work. Here it is important to avoid painting over the white color of the jacket, as it will be more difficult to fix the mistake. Next, we'll use burnt brown red to paint the gloves as if they were made from red leather. Black color would also work, but we're liking this tone of red, it definitely gives more contrast to the figure. Again, be careful when applying the color as we don't want to paint over the jacket. Now we'll switch to burnt sand to begin working on the face. The coverage of this paint is good and even with just one layer, the face looks fine. We'll return to burn brown red to paint the man's sideburns and the visible part of the hair as well as the brows. With steel, we'll paint the belt buckle, the edge of the visor of the cap and the central crest. Remember that when using metallic colors, you shouldn't clean the paintbrush in the same glass you use for regular colors. Next, we'll paint the visor of the cap, the boots and the belt with matte black. We'll go back to filled grey shadow and use it for the cap itself. Take your time and be careful when applying it as it would be easy to mess up the face or the back side of the jacket. We'll mix matte black and matte earth to create a homemade wash. This wash will serve us for the entire miniature and it will help us add contrast to the figure. Just apply it all over and if you have problems with pulling, 
Remember that you can always remove the excess wash with a paintbrush. We'll highlight the cap and the pants with field grey. It's important to dilute the paint correctly. The paint itself is quite watery, so you'll see that it looks much better once completely dry. And here are the pants once highlighted. What do you think? If we want the highlights to be more extreme, we can mix together regular field grey and field grey shadow, but this is completely optional. Here we're trying more forced highlights, just to practice. The commander will go inside the turret, so you won't see anything below the jacket. When highlighting the visor cap, we were looking for something subtle and again we tried to be careful enough not to paint over the parts that we've already painted. Returning to the face, we've mixed basic skin tone with warm skin tone to highlight, little by little, the parts of the face where the light would hit. We'll use light grey-brown for the jacket and we'll continue highlighting the miniature, always respecting the previous highlights. Now we'll use white four figures for the backside of the jacket. These additional highlights are completely optional. We just wanted to use all the colors that came in the set. We'll mix together red leather and burnt brown red to highlight the gloves and especially the area of the fingers and the knuckles. And to finish, we're mixing white for figures with matte black to create a grayish tone that we'll use on the boots as well as the edge of the visor of the cap. And this is what our first figure in 135 looks like. What do you think, painters? We've liked the combinations of the colors from these sets. Again, this video is not sponsored, but if you'd like to try them out for yourselves, be sure to check out the MO by Mix website, mickhimenez.com. Finally, here are some photos of the Panzer IV Commander in winter uniform. We don't know about you, but we are happy with how this Commander turned out. And as you can see, it's very easy to paint him if you follow these easy steps. And that's it for today! If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this, and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when we upload our next video. We are trying to keep the alternating schedule of uploading a new Spanish video one week and then an English version of an older video the following week. So with that in mind, I'll see you in two weeks!